guys, it's Rachel and welcome back to my channel. So this was probably my most requested video all month and it was, hey Rach, how would you dress for the workplace? I know a lot of my videos, I'm dressing quite casual and to be honest, like because I have the luxury of working from home, I dress pretty casual each and every day, but I do remember what it's like having to dress a little bit more profesh and try to figure out what more to wear than just, you know, the typical business casual or business formal workwear. So I thought I would share with you guys five ideas. But before I get to that, I just want to announce something super, super exciting. I'm going to be part of a meet and greet in Toronto, which I'm so so pumped about It's going to be on October 7th, and I'll have the Facebook details in the description box below I'm also going to be selling some of my shop spenny stuff there and part of the proceeds are going to be going towards Hurricane relief so a really good cause we can hang out Let me know if you guys are going to make it in the comment section below So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys five ideas of what I would wear in the workplace. This may not, you may have to adjust accordingly depending on what your dress code at work would be, but at places that I've worked previously, any of these outfits would have been fine. So without further ado, let's just get right to it. So the first outfit I have here is a sweater set. And by set, I don't not typically mean the cardigan set. I mean the sweater as well as the skirt. I think that this is really, really cute. It has that vintage kind of vibe because of the stripes on it. It also has a designer kind of look to it, which I love. I decided to pin the sweater together because there's actually no button to fasten it, but a simple safety pin under it will work and it won't be visible. I wore just a plain camisole underneath and then wore it with a plain pair of black pumps. This would be super cute with a pair of sneakers if you are in a more creative type environment, but I just really like this look overall. I think it looks really put together, but at the same time, a little bit more casual and stylish. I got this from Shein and I'm also going to link a few more affordable options in the description box below. So the next outfit I have here is more of just like an idea and this one is a turtleneck sweater dress. You can get these at so many different places. The one I have here is a new one from Shein that is cream. I'm also really loving creams and browns for the fall season. I'm really, really excited to like rock this when it gets a little bit chillier here. I think that turtleneck dresses when they are midi length or longer just have a really nice lean long effect to any different type of a body. It makes me look a lot longer than I actually am. I also paired it with a vintage designer bag that was my mom's as well as a pair of plain dark brown pumps. I think that dark brown pumps look really really good with creams and colors that are a little bit more on the warm tone side. So definitely try to invest in a pair of those if you haven't already. The next outfit I have here is a little bit different than some of the typical workwear outfits and this is because it's with a jumpsuit. I think that jumpsuits can be super, super versatile for the office and so what I paired with this tartan like wool type jumpsuit is a black turtleneck underneath. You'll know my love affair for black turtlenecks. I think a good black turtleneck it should be a staple beyond the workwear wardrobe. You could definitely wear this casual as well. The one thing that I really like about this look is that it's just a little bit different. My sister looked at this look and she felt that it looked really Korean and had that kind of minimalist vibe to it. I wore this with a pair of pumps, but you could definitely wear this with a sneaker if you want to go the more edgy route. So I couldn't do an outfit without a plain white collared shirt and a trouser. And the trouser that I chose today is a cropped length. And I think that is definitely a way to kind of update the typical trouser because you could wear this with a pair of heels and it would look so good, a matching blazer if you like. But this one, I just kind of kept it casual and kept it more authentic to my style by opting out of the blazer. But if you have to wear it to work, this would look great as well. Again, great with a leather jacket too. I actually paired it with a pair of loafer slides just to add that kind of more trend and fashion element to this. I think the key to a simple look like this is just to pick some basic pieces that fit well, invest in some good tailoring, and then I think the shoes can really, you can switch it out for anything fun. This would also look really good with like a velvet creeper sneaker or uh, like even a Nike Hirachi would look really amazing. So you can really play up this one and just add in where you want to have the trends. And for me, I decided with Loafer. And the last look I have here is definitely the most authentic to what I wore to the office every day when I worked on social media and it is a pair of leather leggings as well as a pointy black ankle booty and this gray turtleneck that I'm actually wearing right now. I really like this look. I think it looks good on all ages, all body types, like everybody pretty much. You can't go wrong with a great like 
leatherette or leather legging as well as a turtleneck. This was definitely my staple all through winter last year. One thing that I really like about this is also it makes you look taller than you actually are. I think that the pointed boot makes you look long. It's stylish but also conservative enough to wear in the office, especially if you are at like a startup or somewhere that's a little bit more lenient on dress code. So that wraps up all of my outfits. Thank you guys so much for watching. I would love to know what your favorite look was in the description box below. I love the turtleneck dress to be honest. That's something I'm actually going to be wearing tonight. Also, again, I would love to meet you guys on October 7th if you happen to be in the Toronto area. So I'm linking that Facebook event in the description box below. And so we are going to wrap this up. So thank you so, so much for watching guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.